Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Factorio. I am Alex, your host throughout this. And uh, last episode, we uh, had a little issue with the biters. Now, I have played a little bit off screen, uh, basically just setting up the red and green uh, science packs, set up that little turret area there, and expanded the, uh, the iron production as well. I think I also expanded the uh, electrical production as well. Pretty simple stuff, pretty much the same as, you know, I was doing in previous episodes, but uh, finally got enough research completed and weapons stockpiled to uh, deal with the biter problem that I was having. And basically my strategy here, um, it didn't work out there, but was to uh, basically draw them away from the spawners take them to that turret area, have the turrets take care of most of them. And then once I was down to just dealing with the ones that were spawning um, as I was there, I was able to kind of pick them off and throw grenades at the spawners themselves, which actually worked out fairly well. Now, uh, I am going to doing this just at normal speed um, just so you can kind of see what's going on uh, for some reason my frame rate was down I'm not sure exactly what was going on but uh, but yeah so basically waiting for uh, daytime to come by so that I can actually see what I'm shooting at I think there's gonna be one more round of drawing them out and then I will start uh, blowing up their spawners which is always fun. Now, if you're doing this yourself, keep in mind um, the armor piercing rounds work a ton better than just normal rounds for taking out spawners. Um, well, and buyers, but especially the spawners. And at this point of the game, uh, grenades are really my uh, most powerful weapon, so that's uh, why I'm using those to uh, kind of take out the bulk uh, of the uh, baddies here. Now as you see, now I'm basically just dealing with them as they spawn and I just get close enough to throw basically a few grenades at their uh, spawns and as you go, the, um, the more that you take out the easier it gets because there's less uh, biters spawning. As you can see this is actually a pretty big complex, uh, especially for early on in the game. But, uh, but yeah, it's fairly simple once I uh, got around to doing it uh, properly. So as you see, I run out of ammo there. I have to quickly uh, kind of retreat and uh, reload, more or less. I do have to reload with normal bullets just because I hadn't created that much armor piercing rounds, but at this point they do work pretty well, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, yeah, so as we take out the last of the spawners here, um, if you notice, if you haven't played this game too much before, those pink things that are being dropped, those are the alien artifacts that you need for the level 4 science packs. Um, Obviously, I'm not that far along in the game right now to need those, but they're always good to hang on to, uh, just because it'll save you from going out and hunting later on in the game. I think each one of them uh, produces 10 science packs, which is pretty significant, I mean, when you're taking out a bigger complex like this, obviously. So, um, all in all, it was a pretty successful raid. I did, I think I I think I have footage of this later. That one off to the left I did try to take out later. Um, but they actually have worms, which I'm definitely not deal, uh, set up to deal with right now. So um, basically, uh, for the rest of this episode, it's just maintenance on what, uh, what I've already got going on. As you see, I expanded that iron production there. Um, it's getting to the point where I'll probably have to move that grenade factory and do it on both sides of that line. Uh, also, uh, 
next episode I'm going to be setting up my oil production, which should help out uh, tremendously and kind of get the ball rolling on certain things. I did need a little bit more coal as I was running low. Um, and the uh, that base off to the right in the mini-map, um, I'm going to have to deal with it at some point. So. Um, yeah, and as you can see, just kind of setting up more electricity uh, just to keep everything running smoothly. I am eventually planning on uh, switching most of my stuff over to solar energy, but that does take a lot of resources to do. So it's uh, not always the easiest thing to get set up, but once you do get it set up, you get attacked a lot less because you're producing a lot less pollution. So, and right about now, I'm kind of regretting having everything uh, spread up out as much as it is, but, you know, that's part of the game, and it is going to be nicer once I set up all my factories in the middle area there. Um, especially once I get oil production going, it's going to help out tremendously. So, um, it's kind of repairing what uh, the biters have been doing here. And as you can see, I'm, I mean, I'm producing enough coal uh, without that other mine, but it's running low. So I, I'm the type of player that I would much rather have a huge excess rather than, you know, dicking around trying to, uh, trying to fix things as they become a problem. So um, as you can see, that copper production uh, that I really haven't had any issues with as I start producing the uh, advanced circuits and stuff like that I'll probably have to uh, expand on that a little bit but uh, but yeah for now it's it's just fine I've got a small factory set up here but it's it's definitely doing the job and now that I have that base taken care of I can definitely expand and uh, focus more on my production rather than fending them off every five minutes And this is where I kind of I tried to uh, take those guys on, and I don't see those worms right away, and I actually get killed pretty quickly from them. Uh, it's it's really hard to take those on this early in the game. Uh, you kind of need some better armor, maybe start out from a car, maybe get some laser turrets over there. Um, but yeah, they if they hit you, they take about about half of your health away, and that combined with the biters being able to catch up to you doesn't mix very well. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I basically double up on my uh, science here, um, which also eventually I'm going to be doubling up on my science packs, or not necessarily doubling up, but uh, at least expanding the uh, capacity for it. And, yeah, it's... Uh, it was a pretty successful episode, nothing too exciting except for that uh, sweeping out of the enemy base. But yeah, hopefully once we get... Uh, I do have oil and flu fluid handling uh, researched at this point, so hopefully next episode we'll be able to get that set up and uh, start producing plastic and sulfur and batteries and all that good stuff, which opens up a whole lot of technologies uh, which do nothing except help you out so um, yeah and as you can see I don't think I explained this on in the other episode but I always like to have a uh, arm going from the transporter factory down to a box that way I just don't have to sit there and create uh, transporter belts all the time I can just pick them up from the belt or from the box which really makes it uh, a little bit easier in the long run. Uh, same thing with um, electrical poles. Once you get to that point uh, where you're creating um, metal electrical poles, it's a lot easier to just set up a factory and not have to worry about producing them all the time. So, um, And that pretty much wraps up this episode. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I'm sorry I haven't posted much in the last week. It was my birthday week, so uh, yeah, I was kind of busy celebrating that. But uh, 
should be having a little bit more regular episodes coming up. And uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching.